If you've ever had one of these stripped off in one of those, everybody knows that shit's gotta goes. Dude, holy fuck. Look at that. Oh, that's so sick. So what I've got for you today on the channel is a super stuck lug nut trick. I know I don't need to say, but it's super sick. You're definitely gonna love this trick. I'm also gonna show you how to get the lug nut out of the socket if it's ever stuck inside there, and that's a super trick as well. Okay, so we got a stripped lug nut here, and this is a common problem you're gonna have in your driveway. These lug nuts are 19 millimeter, but I'm gonna show you what to do if they're bigger. And it should have came off, so 19 millimeter is right around three quarters, and we wanna have a 12 point socket. The 12 point socket is gonna get ruined. Entrer mon frere. It does not get ruined. From this situation, and it barely fits over it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this socket, and we're gonna bang it onto this lug nut and hopefully remove this lug nut. This method will work on any lug nut. It doesn't matter if it's a locking lug nut, whatever it is, if you have a socket that's a 12 point and it's just a smidge smaller than what it absolutely needs to be, you're gonna get it off. Oh, not that, dude. I promise you, it's gonna work. You just have to get the socket banged on there all the way. Now, the reason this happens is sometimes because people put the wrong socket on there, but most often is because these lug nuts are just covered steel with this tin. Just like on this Chevy, these are a big time problem and very normal for this to happen on these Chevy Equinoxes, Traverses, GMCs, blah, blah, blah. So the rust gets up underneath the tin, freezes, expands. Then the fun begins. Come on, man. Or just rust the lug nut. And that's why this happened. It's not always because you accidentally put the wrong size on there. He's gonna try to bang that on there straight. Yep. You're gonna knock it in there as hard as you can. I mean, we want that thing driven down. And yeah, that's what she said. Have to, we'll go grab a bigger sledgehammer so we can drive that thing on there pretty much as far as she'll freaking go. Okay, so we can maximize how much socket we get on there. Mason's gonna hit that thing on there like a man, not like a sissy girl. That socket is bottom down onto that nut. Now, if we didn't ruin this by banging on it with a hammer, which we probably didn't, now it should come right off. Dude, that is so sick, but. I've got another trick. And if you didn't already know, this one's also super sick. If you take this socket, in case you ever get a lug nut stuck inside one of these sockets, take it, use an extension, and you're gonna hit it right here. And what's gonna happen is that socket's gonna expel. And as he hits it, we're gonna notice it drive the lug nut out of there, possibly. Not sure if it's gonna work in this situation, but it might. 50 hits later. Look at that, boy. That ain't coming off of there. Maybe we can bang it some more and get it off there. Well, we all know what she said. It does look like it's coming down. I mean, because it was down here at the bottom. She said, use a bigger hammer. Look at that, dude. That is the ish. <laughs> Whoa. But hey, we get to use it again someday. Dude, holy fuck. Look at that. Oh, that's so sick. That is so sick, dude. Can't believe that worked. So say your lug nut is a 21 millimeter. You would use a 13 16 in that situation. Then obviously whatever corresponds with that socket is the one that you want to use. There's about 25 millimeters in an inch. So you can figure out the rest for different size lug nuts. So if you don't know me, I'm Ryman Clay here at the Clayway, and I do this every single day. My job here on YouTube is to inspire and empower folks just like you at home to do things yourself. If anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. If this video was helpful, please consider subscribing, clicking the notification, sharing my videos, give me a sweet old thumbs up. If you've got a question for me, you can hit me up on Clay's AC and Auto Repair on the Facebook Messenger. I cannot help you with your old baby mama drama, but I may be able to help you fix that whip. Remember, don't be the next to them, be the absolute first of you, and if anyone else can do it, you can do it too. God bless, folks. Have the best of days.